Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Night Witches. So today is Saturday. If you've been sort of playing the game online, you'll notice that I've been sitting at Kayamba here for quite a while. I logged in this afternoon to start to do some recording, then I had to go, uh, we did some laundry, then I had to go and um, take my wife to the GO station because she was going to Toronto so that she can uh, uh, see Michelle Obama tonight, and then I had to take my son in for... Uh, he's having a sleep study done tonight, so I was sitting with him. So I'm back now. I'm actually able to record, but the game has been running for, I don't know how many hours now, six hours or something like that. So if you've seen me on, I haven't been playing the whole time. It's just been running. Um, I wasn't able to get back to it. So we are sitting at Kayamba right now. We have moved planets. Uh, what I wanted to do was sort of solidify uh, Karita's grasp on this world right now. And Jade Falcon's only down to about 6%. Uh, it was a little higher when I first logged in here. It was like around 20, I think, or somewhere in the teens or something like that. Really low, but still, they had a bit of, bit of control here. And this planet was uh, just under Jade Falcon control, I think. And now Draconis Combine has sort of um, um, gave it a little bit of strength. So we're going to try and get rid of Jade Falcon completely from Kayamba today. Uh, so there is a mission I want to take. So let's just go right into that. We're down a couple mechs here. Uh, we're st we're waiting for uh, the cataphract to come back and stuff, but I think we've got enough to do a smash and grab here. It's a 521 salvage, um, three and a half skulls. It's again against Clan Jade Falcon, so we have to be careful depending on what it is. But it's a recovery mission, so you know, maybe two lances, one, and then we recover, and then one on the way out. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. All right, so we'll just have to have our head about head and wits about us for this one. But we're going to go full salvage because you never know. Um, we're close, closing to the end of the month. We should be able to get some salvage enough to pay off our financial report. Then we'll have to worry about next month, but I think we'll be okay here. So what we're going to do, uh, as you can notice, we're down a couple mechs. We're going to leave the Thunderbolt in, take the Black Knight, and I think what we're going to do is we're going to go with the Wolverine with Satori for the Ultra 20, and we're going to put the Bushwhacker in the hands of Bobby Yager here for the three uh, ER large lasers, and let's deploy and get this done. Okay. There it is, folks. Let's go up and grab that. And escape. So, yeah. We're going to take this approach. Same way we kind of normally go on this map. We're going to go up this way. On the move. Full speed. All right. Let's just sprint up the first turn. Full and then we'll just start moving normally. Ultra 20 backstabber. Yes, Commander. Yeah, let's target the ground. And fire. Locked on target. Let's get that TSM up. Or, sorry, um, yeah, TSM's going. Waiting for orders. I think we should be able to sprint for a couple of turns here. Pretty sure we should be able to sprint for a couple of turns here. Because we're kind of running parallel to the edge of the base, so... Should be okay. Okay. Kit Fox sparted us. Spotted us. These guys don't need to run fast. Timberwolf. Okay. Order. But nice to be able to headshot that guy. And a vehicle. Belladonna. A Bologna. Waiting for order. Bologna. Uh -huh. And an SM1. Which I absolutely hate. Yeah, Kit Fox is pretty speedy. Standing by. Copy that. Let's take a couple pot shots. Can we get three on them? Nah, not successfully. We got another turn before we're gonna be close anyway, so. Ready 
for orders. Hmm. Okay. It's reserve. Okay. Let's get into the battle here. Um. Sure. Ooh, two hits. Nice. Looked like a grind shot to me. Good to go. Yeah, not bad. We gotta get closer, but we'll fire these. Oh, we hit with one. It's six percent. Wow, nice. Couple of ones. Couple of ones. She's pretty fast, so let's move into here. Uh, we've already hit the Bologna, so let's go after this guy again. He's got an Ultra 10. Um, yeah. Oh, nice. Trying to shoot the Kid Fox apparently at the same time. Not much of a tank destroyer if you're shooting that kind of crap. There should be direct projectiles. Get some eyes on. And since we can see this guy, we're going to target this guy. Perfect time for a warlord firing at this guy. Oh, this guy goes before the, uh, before Megasaur, really. Megasaur is usually pretty, pretty darn fast. Oh, this guy's moving in to die, so that's fine. Please, whoever's programming the clan, get them to stop meleeing with their mechs. It's just a, it's just embarrassing. Like, I mean, if you've got the hyphen C versions of stuff, sure, like the uh, Wolverine 2C or the Wolverine C or you know, Firestarter C, that's fine, but like all the Omnimax, don't even bother. The damage is so inconsequential. And the chance to hit is usually terrible for them, so w don't even bother have them melee. Just if you can get that program programmed into them somehow. Okay, is this Bologna going next? Probably. Trying to calc oh what? Commander? Did he just decide I don't want to go? Looks like that's what happened. Does that mean he's gonna go at some point? Let's see if we can bust this tank destroyer. Nope. That's a critical hit. It's not a kill though. Yes, Commander. This is what you call a kill. Well, yeah, it's attacking from the side. Die. I bet you that pilot in the Kit Fox probably dropped a load in his pants as the Black Knight was approaching him. He's like, I'm gonna die! And then he just ran right past him. Alright, see if we can kill this guy. There we go. Now we can just focus on stripping the mechs. Let's grab as much gear from these guys as we can.
a lot of damage. You can see daylight through my armor. Standing by. You know what I can see? I can see you just complaining the fuck out of this game. Um, what's the loadout on this Kit Fox? Do we know? One ballistic. I wonder if it's the Gauss Rifle version. Wow, he's taking a CT hit already. <sighs> okay, well, let's focus on killing the... Um, on the Timberwolf here. I'm going to multi-target. We can see if we can pull this guy down. And we're going to shoot the Timberwolf as well with a couple pulse lasers. Oh, pretty good chance over there. Let's go this route. Well, got the leg. Let him know we see him. What leg do we hit here? I don't know. Sometimes you just want to punch the, you know, the guys that you hate, like the Timberwolf and stuff. But we really need, we really need salvage right now, so that's what we're going to go for. Let's get over here. Make sure that Timberwolf can't uh, get us in the back. Let's do an offensive push, just to get some points, if we can get some points in the leg. And firing. Alright, we got one hit in the leg, it looks like. Good to go. Alright, um... Still can't see him. Defensive push. Let's use the leg. And firing. Okay, looks like we got the leg. Or hit the leg, anyway. Like that. There we go. So, this guy's overheating. Good solid leg hits. Offensive push. The leg, please. And firing. Okay, there's one leg. Okay, so Sunflower, Commander. Uh, let's get you on this guy's leg. Move You're out. pretty good at targeting. I should not have moved in. That uh, doesn't really make a difference though. Firing. Okay, there's both legs. Hope we can salvage that. I'm sure we can. Let's give you a first crack at him. It's gonna go after this leg, and how many can we use here? Ah, just two is fine. Copy that. Eh. Chances of us pulling the legs off this guy are gonna be pretty slim, but we're gonna take a shot at it. And firing. Don't want to fire too much. No damage detected. Waiting for orders. Oh. Moving fast. Leg. Ultra twenty off. Firing. Got it. And I'll get the tag on it anyway. Anyway. Waiting for orders. Which leg is the easiest to take? Well, this one's easier. Not easiest. Just going to go with one. Alright. Negative damage. Repeat negative damage. What's up, boss? Why would I shoot? I, I always do that. I always shoot with the lowest chances to hit weapons for some reason. Gotta stop doing that. Okay, there's a hit in the foot. Commander. Moving to position. K 
Okay, two mediums on this guy. Once again, the tag's hitting, but that's it. Defensive push, 18, 32, let's go after this leg, and yep. All right, what's he doing? Wow. All 24 points, eh? Thanks for coming out. Gotta hit it twice there with this. There's one. There's two. Nice. Good shooting. That hit something good. It's going down. Okay, Megasaur. Waiting for orders. Sixty. Once again, the numbers changed. That's bizarre. Just gonna fire two, gonna go against the leg here. Target neutralized. Got the leg and the torso, okay, nice. Well, Full should've probably just shot one. Waiting for orders. That's my bad. Right, Commander. But we should get some good salvage off that. The Mad Cats, or the uh, Timberwolf, I keep calling it Mad Cat, but the Timberwolf's got lots of good stuff on it too, so. Wonder if we'll get reinforcements. Unlikely at this point, I think. Then again, how often have I been wrong? Quite often. Um... This is a just-in-case target. Just in case. I copy. Be able to keep our speed up here. Ready for order. Sunflower. All right. There we go. That'll be it. Waiting for orders. Unless that message was something ominous and I didn't read it. Which is, you know, probable. Because I'm good like that. Okay. Going. Nope. There we go. Alright, well, so well, you know, while that was a three and a half skull mission, it wasn't really that bad. Could have been way worse. Um, no crit damage anywhere that I remember seeing, but we did take a bit of damage here in the arm. Not much we could do about that, though. It's the left arm of the Wolverine. It's not where the Ultra was anyway, so. Ooh, one, two, three, four, five. We could take five Timberwolf parts and cross our fingers that we actually have some in storage. I can't remember if we do, but ER medium pulses are nice. Ultra 10 clan. Endo steel. Clan XL engines, enhanced imaging, exchangers, Nova CWS. Oh man, I think I'm going to avoid the mech parts as much as I'd love to have them um, because I'm not guaranteed of. I don't think we've got. Wow, well, you know what? How often are we going to just get five like this? I know I said I wasn't going to take all mechs parts, but I'm thinking for the number of times that I just take gear, I think I can allow myself to take mech parts this one time. So let's do this. This will be, if we get a Timberwolf, it'll be an immediate upgrade pretty much, I think. So let's grab this. Okay, so we got a couple of Kit Fox pieces, ER large laser, some IATMs, laser AMS, which is awesome. We can get that into play at some point. Oh, we got the, ED, the uh, medium ER pulses, which are good. Clan Endosteel, excellent. Clan Pharaoh, nice. So this is all pretty much good stuff with the exception of light machine guns, which we're not really using. So, yeah, man. Yeah, as you can tell, I have been 
not fighting for quite a while, and there's a whole lot of shiz that went on <laughs> between the last time I, uh, or when I logged in and what actually, uh, when I actually started playing. So, 55,000 in 11 days. So that's not bad. Let's have a look here. We're going to need to get, um, we lost a few C-bills on that one. Let's get the mechs in that we want to get done faster. Like that. Actually, you know what? Let's get the catapult out of this lineup for now. Let's get these guys done first. But it doesn't matter. They'll all be done in 10 days if we do it this way. But it's really the cataphract and the black knight we want back. So, financial reports in five. It won't matter. We'll be in the next financial next month anyway. So let's go this route. We'll get these two back. I got an idea how I want to run this catapult. Um, and it doesn't involve medium range missiles or anything like that. I want to run it as a, just a support mech. And what I mean by that is maybe we drop an arrow system in for, for it to um, hit the enemy with instability. But not only that, command console and, and some other things. So I'm thinking that's the route I want to go with this guy. But we'll see how it plays out here shortly and when we get the uh, mech back. But let's have a look. Um, we're going to have to wait, I think. I don't think we have the mechs right now um, to do another mission right away before the end of the month. So we'll sell a couple things. We got one, two. Well, we do have enough. We do have. We can run a second lance. I mean, we do that. Let's see what we got here contract-wise. If we can, we might as well. Incomplete intelligence against Rasselhag Republic. It's a destroy base. Sure, let's run that one. Garrison duty is a defend base versus who though? Multiple fronts, Lance of Mercs, Babysit Outpost. Who knows? Actually, you know what? Yeah, we do know because we do it this way. Free Russell Hag Republic. Yeah, somebody pointed that out and thank you for pointing that out because oftentimes I'm trying to read it in the description but really you just need to go forward and into the actual mission and it tells you who you're facing. Thank you so much for that and I haven't done it. I know you mentioned that like a long time ago. Steal the prototype. Ooh. Um, Jade, against Jade Falcon. Make their vanguard assault and catch them by surprise. Then we'll take over the facility. So it's basically just a capture base. 521. That, I don't know, we want, do we want, it's two and a half skull though. I think if our second lance is careful, I think we should probably be able to pull that off. So let's do that. Let's have a look here, um, star map wise, to see what we did here. If we pulled Jade Falcon off of the, ah, oh, they captured this. Yeah, see the map hadn't updated, that's what it was. So it was still sitting where it was. So Jade Falcon's got 28%, so let's take that priority mission against Jade Falcon and hopefully crush that a little bit more, crush that number back down. So let's do this one. It'll probably go down by 10 or so. Um, let's go... I think we. this is the, really the only route we can go. 729 for damn straight. We should get at least 8, maybe 12 to crush them down. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Alright. Priority mission. Let's do this. Alright, we're running the second lance. Fingers crossed that they don't mess this up. Diva, hot damn. Um, oops, wrong positions. Jupy, lead them off. And speed of sound sonic, second place. Let's get Chupacabra and the Thunderbolt. Um, and then let's get the Griffin into the Diva and the Shadow Hawk. Now, it's a capture base, not a destroy base, so we don't really need this catapult. Um, although I'm wondering, do we really need... Well, if we want to try and capture mechs, I think the Shadowhawk is a definite... Like, we need the Flamehawk in here. It just, need, just needs to be in here. Alright, so let's go. Let's just do this. All right, let's hope for a relatively easy match here. Mm, okay. Okay, not so bad. We know how this map plays out. Here we go. We know how this map plays out. Let's just hope that they don't have 
massive turrets here that we're going to get screwed from. So let's get up here fast. Want to engage quick, destroy them fast. Get into the reinforcements and kill them fast. No shooting, just running. Standing by. Confirmed. Okay, we just got turrets. What no? What no? Get up here. We need those lasers. Okay. Standard. We don't know what these are yet. Wait. Yeah, just standard turrets. Two and a half skull. We're probably looking maximum two seventy five health. Probably, yeah, saying probably because I'm not 100% sure, but I'm thinking that's probably how close they're going to be. These turrets are set up though in such a way that we can probably most likely, yes, target them one at a time. Relative, well, not one at a time for all of them, but wow, you suck. Okay, finish this up, please. Please. Nicely done. Let's hope for no artillery. Move these guys up so if they can see us, we're going to brace and hopefully absorb some damage. Nope. Either they can't see us or the direct fire turrets. Back turret now. And yep. That's a Lerm turret. Can we get you... Alright, 200. That's another Lerm turret, okay. Uh, can we get... Yep. Okay. Now let's see if we can see the back one. There we go. ER mediums. And firing. Ah, not quite enough. Alright. Let's finish this turret up. Save some heat. Firing. Okay, one turret left. Hey. Hey. Christ, shut up, Darius. I know they've got turrets. We've killed three of them already. Please stop bothering me. Wait, what? Oh, we can't see the turret. That was weird. Kind of showed up there and then it just disappeared. Uh, yeah. Let's get over here. Got it. Full speed, no target. Standing by. Double time. There we go. There you are, you bastard. Switching this from acid to, uh, yeah. And, uh, yep. I wonder if it just can't see us. Alright. Gonna take a turn to cool off here. So, we need to set up for the reinforcements. So, I want you long range. So, let's pull back here for now. You need to be uh, somewhere where we can access both of them. So let's go here. Both sides, that is. And Diva, you are the same way. You need to be relatively close. So let's get up here. And Chupi, let's get you right into 
I'm going to put you in the trees here. And let's get... So Hot Dam, I think, is ready. Maybe a little too close to the wall there. But that's fine. Hey. All right, let's activate this base. Looks like. I'm here. Let's get in the trees. Okay, let's go. Okay, what are we looking at here? A Nova, 50 tons. Arctic Wolf, 40. Phoenix Hawk, 45, which could be problematic. Okay, so these are actually some pretty good mechs here. So let's, we got to keep our Orders. eyes and ears peeled at all times and inflict some major damage if we can. Firing. It's going to be hard to hit them on the first turn. There's nothing much we can do about that. Quick strikers are going to come out here in a second. So this is the Arctic Wolf, right? That was the Nova. So we got a Storm Crow. What was this? Phoenix Hawk? Um... Depends on where the Phoenix Hawk goes here. Can you... How close can you get? I'm going to Vigilance you, because I want you to get, like, really damn close. i got a movie now, don't I? Don't I? Double time. Let's go. We want to Inferno this guy. Ah, we're not going to hit. Don't waste the ammo. It's got plenty of chance to waste the ammo later on. Ready for orders. On the move. Full speed. Full speed. Wow. Affirmative. Don't waste the ammo in case this drags out. Hell yeah. Okay, I've got eyes on. Yep. Hundred heat, not bad. Not bad. That's actually a little more than I thought we would have gotten with those percentages. But he'll get 30 more from being in this hex, so he might shut down. It's unlikely, but he might. What are they doing? Commander. What are they doing? Yep, um... Let's not fuck around with these guys. I think we're going to be going after the guys up on the top there. Just move over here. For salvage, I mean. I mean, I, I want to get as much salvage as I can off these guys, but I can't be messing around because these clan loadouts can strip our armor really damn fast if we're not careful. Okay, we got a pretty damn good chance to hit, so let's see if we can pull a leg. See if we can pull the leg on this guy. Ah, uh, one hit. Maybe a leg hit, I don't know. Yeah, it was. Not bad. It's got a pair of ERPPCs, that's why I gotta be careful. Um, yeah.
I think this is really the guy we want. 55 tons. What are they doing? Can they just not see us? Or is it... It's a possibility. Maybe they, the pilot, maybe their pilots just aren't good. What's up, boss? It is you know, it is a possibility. Confirmed. Wow. Move order received. I want to stay in the trees here. We got four chevrons of evasion, that's pretty good. Especially for a short move like that. What? Damage looks light, Commander. No, sorry, my wife just texted me here. One second. I sent her a photo of uh, my son all wired up for the uh, hey. sleep test that he's take, he's having right now. So she's like, he's okay? And I'm like, of course he's okay. <laughs> I've been through it before. It's, it's just fine. Yeah, he's fine. He's 15. I mean, I guess she's worried about him being in the sleep clinic by himself. Well, he's not only really by himself. There's like another like 10 people there, right, that are uh, having their studies done as well. So he's not by himself, and he's in he's in good hands. I mean, I spent time talking with the technician that's there. He's a pretty cool guy named Raj. He's uh, you know, it's he's gonna have a fine, not a fun time, but if, he'll be fine, just fine. Uh, where did the Phoenix Hawk go again? I'm not paying attention. The goddamn fe ah man, really? Barbecue. Order? Let's keep you. Moving to position. So it looks like the uh, thing with Michelle Obama is over now. So I'm just kind of, I'm playing and I'm watching text at the same time, so. Uh, let's go with the dead fire. And I'm just going to hammer this guy. Okay. So we don't have to worry about that guy now. Now we can just pull legs off these guys. Move over here. And I think, uh, we don't need an offensive push on this guy. What's the chance to hit? 99. Let's take these off. Let's go with the big guns and we're going to shoot at the leg here. Okay, I got one hit. Same idea. Let's just get over here. And we're going to go after the leg up here. Well, yeah, we'll go with three. Oh, yeah, man. Sniper! Critical hit, Commander. Yeah, Chupi, you're, you're awesome. Or Sound Sonic, I mean. Standing by. Standing by. Location confirmed. Arctic Wolf. Say goodnight. Go. That hit something good. Sure did. Alright, so it looks like the Nova and the Storm Corps are going to be the ones we take here. I just need to be careful with um, Hot Dam because she can quickly kill this guy with the flamers, so I have to be very, very careful. I think we're going to target the leg. All he can do is stand up and power up, so I'm just going to target the other leg with her, and we'll worry about this Nova from down here. Those freaking ER PPCs. Okay, you can cut it off now. Standing by. Um...
Let's just do this. We have bonuses to hit with the flamers, so I was hoping that we did a... Okay, not bad. Not bad, not bad damage at all in that leg. Like, flamers like plus two to hit or something, so you have a better chance to hit, which means you have a better chance to target the leg and stuff. Yeah, you, he realizes now he's in a bad position, this Arctic Prime. Alright, we know who's got to do what here. This guy's just going to power up. I'm here. We know what everyone's got to do. We know our marching orders. So let's just do them. Advancing, I guess. We know our marching orders. Let's just... Locking in target. Didn't expect that. No, neither did I. But good shooting. Two in the leg. All right. Choopy, let's get up over here. Let's walk it over. Let's put a couple in the leg again. If we can. Uh, we can pull up on the e one ER medium pulse. Okay, there's the leg. Reporting critical hit. I'm receiving you. Okay, you don't even need to move. We got our attack on this guy. Gonna offensive push him. Gonna go out to the leg, and I think we're gonna run up the inferno ammo as well and fire. All right. Ah, you don't even need to move. Good to go. Ooh. There we go. Heading out. I know that guy's behind me, but personally don't care because, you know, he can only power up this turn. Alright, firing all this. See ya. I hope we can sell this bad. Okay, let's see what this guy does. Nope. Okay, Sniper Extraordinaire. Okay. Let's go with two. And... Yep. You say so. No, 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 no. Leg, 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 leg. Can't afford to lose salvage on this. Get over here. On the move. Can't okay. afford to lose salvage. Not when we're getting so much of it. Ah, oh, shit. Got torso as well. Oh, well. Yeah, a little overkill. I was expecting a partial miss there. Alright. This guy's almost done. Um. Alright, and we're going to switch these around. And just shoot him in the leg. There it is, folks. Target neutralized. All right, not bad. Mission successful. All right, contract payment increased by 10%, which is 300,000. Not bad. I think we'll make our financial report with just that. I don't think we've got a lot of uh, repairs here. We got a bit of damage, but not much. Took a couple PPC hits. So not bad at all. Uh, Arctic Wolf Prime, Nova parts. We don't really have any Nova Stormcrow. I think we have Stormcrow parts or Storm... Yeah. Let's grab five of those. I think we might get a Stormcrow. Once again, I don't normally do this, but I am doing it today. Um, so, uh, e-cooling plus three, that's kind of nice too. Well, we don't really have any mechs that can take advantage of it at the moment. Two Clan XL engines, probably? That can give us some sea bills, which are, we have desperate need for at the moment. And yet there's nothing else down here that I really want. So let's go that route and see what we get. We're going to have a lot of this other stuff because we got such a good uh, amount of salvage. 27, I think, was our total, right? 
22 additional pieces, so yeah. So let's confirm. All right, Nova part, Phoenix Hawk, four, five, six. Six Phoenix Hawk, Phoenix Hawk parts. We might actually have a Phoenix Hawk. Really? ER Large, not a clan though. Who had the ER Large that wasn't a clan? Phoenix Hawk probably? I guess so. Two ER, medium ER pulses, that's like, we got a bunch of those now. Cooling pod, a couple of cores, nice. Ferro Fibrous is always welcome. Clan Double Heat Sink, Slick Sweet, okay. Not bad, not bad at all. 106 million in C bill claim. All right, so there's the Storm Crow L. And a Phoenix Hawk. 24,000 repairs, which is really nothing, and we should have enough for our financial report. All right, my wife's still texting me. She's just getting on the go bus now. All right, so let's check this out. We need to bring our main lance up, though. So let's bring the Wolverine up. Let's bring the catapult up because we need to outfit that. Let's bring out the a cataphract and this, and then a thunderbolt. Um. This is eight days. Wolverine, no, it's not eight days. I keep thinking we've only got uh, two bays. We've got three now. So that's in 10 days, we'll have these guys back. The Bushwhacker will come back after that. Do I really want the Catapult this far back? Let's do this. The cat. We'll put the Catapult to 13 days. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, we want to run um, it this, no, not this way this way. So Wolverine will take 10 days, Cataphract in 5, Black Knight in 2, Thunderbolt in 3, then this bay will get the Catapult, and then this bay, Cataphract bay, will get the Bushwhacker. So in 10 days, all of the mechs with the Catapult can be back, and in 13 days it'll be the Catapult. Okay, that's pretty good. So at the beginning of the next month, we'll have our half-decent Lance back, our Lances back, and we can get stuff going. Let's have a look at the mech base here. Sorry, I'm just going to check my texts. My texts. All right, she's gonna text text me when she reaches Burlington, which means I might. Well, I'll be done this episode before then. Sorry, I'm talking about my personal life stuff here while I'm playing. My apologies, Phoenix Hawk. Let's see what we get. All right, uh, not a whole lot. So I don't think there's really anything in here we want. So let's just scrap this guy. Um, we've got plenty of other mechs if we want to bring something forward we can use. I mean, we got a Griffin that's just sitting here too, right? So this will just be C bills for us. 584,000. Let's scrap that. And then Storm Crow L, definitely not going to scrap it. Although it doesn't look like it's got much left in it. Let's refit it. Yeah, not a whole lot. Let's do a repair on it. So Pharaoh and Endo Steel are integral. No, they're not integral in this mech. Oh, that's interesting. Right. Clan Endo, though, is. Yeah. So, it's got, like, no gear on it. But that's fine. That means we just don't have to strip anything off when we go ahead and do stuff. Five days, 305,000. It's really nothing. So let's confirm that. We got the sea bills right now. Let's get this guy fixed up. So I think, with this one being fixed up, I think what we could probably do... We were holding on to this Griffin because... Let's just refit this and we'll just have a look here. We were holding on to the Griffin because we were going to run this guy. Because uh, it is a royal... Um, overheat threshold. I mean... It's the same as the other mech we're running right now. And I don't think we need... Because it had the light engine and everything already built in. So we didn't need to spend the sea bills for that. Let's have a look. If we took another mech out, what would it be? Because we've already got this Griffin running. It wouldn't be anything, really. Because this is our Ultra ultra Auto Cannon one. This is the, the missile boat. I 
I can't justify having all these mechs up and running. So let's let's let us pull put the Griffin in the uh, storage. So I think we'll end up using the Stormcrow more than we would this Griffin anyway, just because of the sheer variety of hard points that are on this. We can outfit it however we want, and the repair is so much easier on this mech. So let's put the Griffin away. I figured it was going to come to that at some point, but well, that's fine. Okay, and then we'll have two extra mechs, one for the main lance, one for the second lance, just as backups. It'll allow us to do a mix and match like we've been doing for the past little bit. Um, which I think is working out half decent. I still like having dedicated mech pilots and dedicated mechs. I just feel that that's how things would be. But, um, yeah, for now, I think we'll just go with, with uh, shifting stuff around if we absolutely have to. So the Stormcrow's is what how many days is five so it'll come in yeah right after the wolverine so 15 days it'll be back so 15 days all the mechs are back 13 days all the primary mechs are back 10 well no sorry 10 days all the mechs that we need are back 13 days the catapult's back and we can rebuild it 15 days the storm crow's back we can be rebuild that we do have two clan xl engines which i'm going to hold on to for now um so we could sell them if we want to. That's like almost 200, 200,000 right there. Or 200, or sorry, 2 million right there. Um, so, yeah. Um, oh, she's changing her mind here. So she wanted me to pick her up downtown. Now she wants me to pick her up at a different stop. Cool. It's just easier on her. She's tired and she's got sore knees, so I'm going to pick her up at a different location. All right, so, uh, yeah, we're going to end the episode there, I guess. Um, I think that was pretty successful. Um, if you want to see an unsuccessful episode, switch over to uh, Jade Falcon Freeborn for today. You'll see what I mean about that. Man, I'm telling you, I'm still, I'm still pining over that episode. But anyway, check that one out. All right, so we'll leave it here. If you like the episode, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And can you drop any comments in the comment section down below? Um, yeah, we're going to have to work our way up now. I think once we get once the cataphract's back, we're going to push for some more assault mechs. All right, so until next time, we'll see you all later.